Hey y'all, this is CB, and I'm the No BS Welder here at NBS Welding. What we're looking at right here, getting some measurements. This is a buddy of mine's New Holland skid steer, and this bracket goes on the back at the bottom. And there's two of these, there was two of these brackets on this skid steer, and one of them's gone. That's the reason we're taking measurements, is because uh, the one that's gone, that got ripped off, it's out in the mud somewhere. Um, they didn't find it. We don't know where it's at. We got to make one. So, it starts out with a DeWalt 872 chop saw and a piece of half by two flat bar. I've set the saw at 45 degrees, and I put a miter on the end of that tube. Uh, next thing I got is a piece of inch and a half square tubing that I cut just to the length I need for pretty much my inside dimension of the part. Uh, then, what I'm doing right here, I, I've got that half by two flat bar set up there at about 45, and I'm getting that measurement of the six and three quarter inch outside diameter of the whole piece and then i'm going to come back and i'm going to go uh three and three eighths you know make a mark in the center there so i can center up this inch and a half tube and tack it to the table i'll go ahead and use the half by two flat bar and i'll get my clamp adjusted right where I need it so that it's ready to go later in the in the heat of the torching. Then I'll hold this half by two flat bar up in place. About 45 degrees there and weld it to the table. Time to heat up on this thing. So I've got the rosebud uh, hooked up to the oxyacetylene. Uh, I, I adjust my regulators uh, whenever I change uh, different things, you know. When I'm cutting with oxygen and acetylene, I probably have the acetylene on 10 and the oxygen on 40. Uh, but when I'm heating that oxygen, I turn it way down below 10. And the acetylene, I turn it way up. I probably got it on 12. Um I have to give this thing a little bit of attitude and get it, because I'm wanting to get it down there flat on that flat bar to put my clamp on it. And there was a little bit of a gap when I bent it. So uh, I got mean with it there for a second, and, and it finally come around to my way of thinking. And then uh, it's hot enough to go ahead and light this torch on its own, so we fire back up. Now, uh, the second bend on here won't take as long to heat because the metal's already pretty warm. Um, but we get it warmed up and, and you can see now the part that we're trying to make is, is starting to come around. Looking pretty good here. That's what I was going for. Looks a lot like the part we measured. That mill slag on there really starts popping and looking ugly when you heat it. Uh, a lot of times I'll power brush that mill scale while the steel's still hot and it seems to come off a little easier. Uh, not a big deal, but, you know, it's just the most opportune time to do it. Obviously, the next thing here is to figure out where we're going to cut this off. I've, I'm going to set up on this 45 with the combination square. And another thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to split the difference between 45 degrees and my six and three quarter OD. You see me counting on that on that uh, ruler. I want to make sure I got six and three quarters of an inch outside diameter, even if it's not exactly 45 degrees. And then we can saw that off. All right, let me do this t-shirt commercial, guys. I got to throw this in here. $25 for an NBS welding t-shirt. I hope you can buy one. Send Tina an email. The email's nbswelding at aol.com. Also, uh, I'm an Art Captain affiliate. If you go to the description of my videos, you'll find links to our Amazon storefront. You'll find links to uh, Art Captain products. Uh, anything you can do there uh, helps us out using the links to purchase products on Amazon or with Art Captain. And if you use the promo code NBS Welding 
with our captain, you'll get a 5% discount and the channel gets credit for, uh, for sending you. So I appreciate the support there on that. We're on the scene with the super service truck. We got fired up. We're running, uh, gonna be running power from the Miller Trailblazer 302. Got it fired up. Uh, got the cord ran. I'm gonna be running, uh, my, my cord is plugged into the 220. I've got the Art Captain MIG 145 Pro, and it's tooled up with uh, 30 thousandths Art Captain flux core wire. Now I've got the 220, but I'm using my adapter that allows me to pull 120, 110 volt off the 220. I can run uh, long and hard on the 110 volt with the Art Captain MIG 145 this way because. Uh, it won't trip the it won't trip the 220 breaker. Here's the bracket that we measured. And right here's the one that's gone and you can see that quite a bit of the steel got ripped out whenever that got ripped off there. So we're going to have to do some hole filling. That flux core wire will be good with that. And we got our bracket that we fabricated at the shop and it's ready to be installed. There's always prep work in the beginning, uh, grinding the old weld off, get it out of the way, get the paint off there, all of that business. We'll get this thing up in place, get a tack on it. Getting it positioned the uh, best I can, but there's still a little bit of a gap there at the top. Take a look at what we got where we got this thing tacked up here uh, before we get started welding. You can see I've taken a 3 16 inch welding rod, busted the flux off of it, and jammed it in the top right there to fill in that top gap. The gap on the bottom section there, I'm going to be able to fill that in thanks to this flux core wire. Uh, filling these holes overhead with a stick welder would, would suck, but it's going to be no problem at all with the with the electrode negative polarity in the flux core wire uh, no problem at all get that filled in uh, real handy way to weld this there's a huge advantage with the flux core wire with the electrode negative on these out of position welds you know it just it really helps that that the electrodes negative uh, when you when you weld an overhead and vertical Right here's an occasion where I had the machine turned down a little bit because I had that hole I was needing to fill in. I got the hole filled in, then I'll take my power brush and I'll clean the slag off, and then I want a little more heat when I go to back to welding. Now, this is where the 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 Arc Captain app uh, on my phone is coming in real handy because I've got a Bluetooth connection between my phone and my welding machine. I'm able to just pull my phone out of my overalls and turn the heat up on my machine and I don't have to get up and go adjust the machine and then lay back down and get back in position I'll stay right there in position and I got my phone on me anyway I'm, I'm running a business you know it's not like I'm carrying an extra thing having that Bluetooth connection to my, my weld machine with the Art Captain app on my phone and being able to adjust the heat on that machine and go right back to welding it's a huge convenience I really like it I'm using these big heavy Art Captain gloves. I don't normally wear these. I don't like them for a lot of stuff. But when it's overhead work and out of position stuff like this, that's time to get them babies out. Uh, the extra protection, they're so long and thick, is really nice. I need to just shut up a minute and let you hear this Art Captain wire burn.
I decided while I'm here, I'm going to sling a few slick beads on this other one that ain't busted off yet, just to make sure my buddy don't have no trouble with it. Hey y'all, CB here. I'm the No BS Welder at NBS Welding. Coming to you today to tell you about the Arc Captain and NBS Welding Welder Giveaway. We're giving away an Arc Captain MiG-145 Pro. And I want to tell you how to enter to win. The first thing you got to do is you got to comment on this video with the script Arc Captain. Once you comment on this video, then you share this video on your social media network. And make sure you're subscribed to both the NBS Welding and the Art Captain YouTube channels. This Art Captain MiG-145 Pro runs off 120 volt current. It'll run flux core, stick weld, or lift TIG. I'm using it to weld on the bottom of this skid steer and I'm laying on my back kind of out of position. I have a Bluetooth connection. The, the, the Bluetooth capable MiG-145 Pro with the Art Captain app on my phone allows me to lay under this skid steer, adjust the heat on my machine, get it set how I want, put my phone back in my overalls and go right back to work. Now you can adjust the machine with the knob on the front like any traditional machine, but being able to do this uh, with the Bluetooth connection sure is handy too.